Mheshimiwa Waziri wa Afya dada yangu umi mwalimu to the youth ambassador for peace on political affairs and security of the African Union madam Diane to the leaders and representatives of colleges participating in the most scholars program to the current most scholars and most scholar graduates waandishi wa habari assalamu alaikum wanasifiwe tumsifu Yesu Kristo leo nitatumia lugha ya Kiingereza kwa nini ningeanza Kiswahili tutarudi kwenye mambo ya simba tena <laughs> nikitoka hapo maswali mengi ya simba atakuja kwa hiyo tu, 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 tu focus kwenye foundation na kwenye academia thank you for joining us here tonight mheshimiwa waziri Uh, you have blessed this event we are humbled and we are honored i know you've had a busy schedule kwa na kushukuru sana mimi binafsi asante sana mshimozi before i go any further i would like to thank the almighty god for blessing us all here today i mean it fills me with joy to look out into the crowd and see more than 100 bright young tanzanians who are beneficiaries of the most scholars program let us take a moment to give these students a round of applause <laughs> students i'm proud of your hard work and commitment to your studies you must never ever give up i started the modelji foundation in 2015 with a dream i wanted to improve the lives of communities across tanzania my foundation focuses on healthcare cancer for children community development access of water and education with the goal of building a tanzania that is free of poverty Education is one of the most important tools for a population. As Nelson Mandela said and I quote, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. I unquote. Lakini when you quote eh kuna nukuu nzuri sana za baba yetu taifa mwalimu Julius Kambarage Nyerere naomba mimi pia ni mnukuu education is not a way to escape poverty it's a way of fighting it and i unquote the words of these wise leaders ring true i run i returned to tanzania at the age of 24 after completing my university studies in the united states i'm a finance major and an international business major and i've done a minor in theology at georgetown university in university i learned a lot of course my reading got better my writing got better and most importantly how to think for myself education changed my life and it is the reason I'm successful today. In the late 90s when I returned to Tanzania I was shocked by the fact that majority of Tanzania's youth do not finish secondary schools and have almost no opportunity for higher education. When I think of the youth of Tan Tanzania I think of my children and how much I love my children i know that every parent loves their children as much as i love mine kweli sio kweli navyopenda mimi mtoto wangu najua kila baba na mama anampenda mtoto wake hivyo hivyo na i refuse to believe that life and opportunities of a child who lives in a western world 
matters more than a life of a child who lives in the African continent. Manake siwezi kukubali kwamba maisha ya yule mtoto ambaye amezaliwa New York ana utofauti na maisha ambaye mtoto amezaliwa Tanga au Singida. I believe kwamba a life is equal to a life. No matter what every child deserves an education. In 2005 I became a member of parliament of Singida Urban jimbo la Singida mjini ukitoka kilomita 5 kumi, unakutana na vijiji. Kwa hiyo ilikuwa naitwa ni Peri Urban constituency i worked very hard to expand access of education at that time i remember primary education was free government schools uh, as far as secondary education uh, were very few and the, the only fortunate ones that got to go to secondary schools nakumbuka tulikuwa na shule mbili tu za sekondari lakini kwa uwezo wa Mwenyezi Mungu kushirikiana na wananchi na viongozi na serikali tumeweza kujenga e, zaidi ya shule 18 na ukienda ukienda kwenye takwimu manake accessibility tulifikisha ya 90% increase kwenye enrollment of students years later I stepped down as an MP because I got into become an MP it was a story of uh, water and health so and I was born in Singida I mean nilizaliwa nyumbani hata hospitali sijafika so I wanted to change people's lives and then I thought okay there is a I was not a very good MP because nilikuwa mtoro bugeni etc etc kwa hivyo I realized kwamba eh, I should retire my parliament seat and start this foundation that can touch the lives of Tanzanians uh, across the country I started the Mo Deuji Foundation and created the Mo Scholars program which affords high education scholarships to bright and deserving Tanzanians who cannot afford to attend university with God's grace We have spent 2 billion on the Mo Scholars program alone. In its first year, the Mo Scholars program had only 10 students, all coming from a single university, University of Dar es Salaam. Lakini, now 8 years later, we are partnering with 11 institutions and supporting over 110 active students with 40 program graduates we're supporting students from every region in the country including zanzibar in the next 10 years mungu akitujalia our target is to expand to a thousand students our vision is to have a thousand when i say a thousand does not mean a thousand meaning a thousand graduating and a thousand going into freshman year manaki all together in the whole cycle 360 degrees you're talking about 4000 kids in 2021 i also committed to the united nations to serve as a champion of gender equality across africa in tanzania Nimpongeze sana Mheshimiwa Rais. Mama yetu mpendwa Mheshimiwa Rais Samia Suluhu Hassan tukiona pale cabinet inapendeza sana kina mama wako wengi wamepata good representation bungeni pia we're doing well. Eh, kwa hivyo I've made this commitment kwa gender equality and uh, ukweli ni kwamba women huko nyuma were far behind men in the participation in socio-economic sectors politically we have made a fantastic move eh, but socio-economic sectors were still behind 
So starting this year, Moshima Waziri, the Most Scholars Program is supporting a majority women. Empowerment of women and girls is one of the key strategies that will help Tanzania achieve its sustainable development. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the Modelji Foundation team with Rachel C. Square. Kuna Rachel C. Alap kuna Rachel C. Ten. Kuna moja muhehe, kuna moja mzungu. Kwa hivo, uh, alafu, we have Sharon and the whole team of Modelji Foundation. Uh, I would like to thank you personally for your dedication and your hard work. Uh, I can only say, may Allah bless you and give you a long and a healthy life. I would like to also thank Our Excellency, the President of the United Republic. She's done a fantastic job. In the one year in her leadership, the world has had a very bullish and positive view for Tanzania. I believe she has the capacity and the ability to bring growth in this country, to increase foreign direct investment, to create local entrepreneurs, and in general, this is a very, very positive sign. Squeezy kila nikienda, people are saying Tanzania mambo safi kabisa. Kwa hivyo ni mpongeze sana kwa kazi kubwa ambayo wamefanya, lakini pia ni kushukuru tena mwishme waziri wa afya to grace our occasion. Now before I conclude, I would like to address the bright students before me. Thank you for joining the Most Scholars Program and for committing to academic excellence. Your journey in life has just begun. You must take the education you are gaining and use it to change the world. Your future is full of possibilities. May you shine bright conquer your fears, and embrace challenges. May God bless you. May God bless Tanzania. May God bless Africa. Asanteni. Sana.